Why is your clothes not on? Because what? Maybe we can play this party. Jason, you can play today after you get out of school. Okay? Get your clothes on. You always give me static in the what, morning. What school's too long. Well, if you don't... Sh put your clothes on. No. TT. Mommy, something happened to my clothes. You ready to get dressed? Yeah. Oh. I'll take your pants off. You ready to get dressed? And go eat breakfast at school? Hmm? Get your uh, drug. Mommy, mommy. School's too long. School's too long. Life's too hard. I want to play Jurassic Park. Get up. And lunch is too long. Y'all are lazy. That's what it is. What? Oh, baby, but. <laughs> Yeah, you better be glad you get that on camera. <laughs> Move. Check on your sister. <laughs> you okay, TT? <laughs> Jason, move. <laughs> She's looking at her brother yeah. like, he is dumb. <laughs> Stethoscope right there, a little blood pressure medicine, other medical things going on over there. This handsome dude sitting over there. Say hey, what's up to the loves, babe? Hey, baby, say what's up. <laughs> well, anyway, um, we are at the doctor for a very good reason. Um, I don't know if I want to tell you guys just yet. I don't know if I want to tell y'all just yet, but. I'm excited, so we're gonna see how it goes, and then I'll come back on the camera and tell you guys while we're here. We're out of the doctor's office. Everything went good. Today, I'm 12 weeks pregnant. Um, we got to hear the baby's heartbeat, and everything is good. Yay! I was really nervous because um, when I went in, I asked him about uh, specifically about where the location of the placenta was and so he said he would listen for it because with Jason I have placenta previa which means that the placenta was right over my cervix and so um, normally you would have to have a c-section for that but as I got as my stomach got bigger my uterus got bigger it moved out of the way so I was able to have a vaginal birth and then with uh, Tiana I had an anterior placenta which means my placenta was on the front part of my uterus where like the outside of my stomach is and so it took me a while to feel her kick on the outside I could feel her in the inside but it took me a while on the outside but um so he he puts the fetal doppler on my stomach he's looking 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 we're not hearing anything I'm freaking out but he's like playing it cool because he's like I think it's on the front because he was like having to go around like where my uterus was and he finally heard the heartbeat and it sounded really good and then the baby kicked the doppler and then baby just like hid we, he wasn't having it so it felt really good to hear the heartbeat and know that the baby is okay and the baby's growing so it, we felt good about that right now um we are at mcdonald's um we're gonna go eat lunch with jason at school but hold on okay so i had to let brian um order the food or whatever but um it's been so hard keeping the secret from you guys like i haven't put out a lot of vlogs because i've been sick I didn't want to like tip you guys off because of course you know with the last pregnancy where I had the miscarriage I told you guys at like five weeks four days and then you saw what happened and so I'm normally like a big believer on just like telling people but I think it hurt me so bad the last time that I just wanted to kind of keep it to myself in case something went wrong and then just kind of see where it went from there before I let the world know uh, our family knows um, a few of our friends know um, but I just kind of wanted to keep it under wraps until I knew for sure that we were kind of in the safe zone, um, you know, where the chance of that happening again is extremely low. So, um, and this pregnancy is completely different from the first. 
um, I'm, I have so much morning sickness. I didn't have that the last time. So that was, even though it's been killing me, it made me feel a little bit better knowing that the hormones are flowing the way they need to so that the baby, um, the baby's life can be sustained like it's supposed to. But I definitely am going to do a first trimester update and kind of talk more about the miscarriage and how I got pregnant this time and stuff like that for you guys. They know how you got You enjoy your lunch? He gets so excited, guys, when we show up to eat lunch with him. Look at my I can't, I can't look at the other kids. Oh, you want some? Take some, baby. I'm not going to eat all them damn fries. We were mad because McDonald's forgot to put me and Brian's. Because I got chicken nuggets. He got a Big Mac. They didn't put our fries in there. But Jason got two fries. I'm confused. We're back at home. Um, I had vlogged before this, but for some reason I can't find the clip. I could, didn't save or something. I don't know. But anyway, so I want to show you guys the baby. This picture was from, um, I was eight weeks. But look, here's the baby. That little circle right there is the yolk sac. And there's the baby right here. That was at eight weeks, and I'm 12 weeks now. Um, so let me show you guys my baby. Here's my belly. Excuse the stretch marks. But yeah. My fat on the side. But yeah, so I'm excited. Um, it was like the cutest thing though. So Jason is like super in love with my belly. TT's in love with my belly. So every now and then, like when they're sleepy, they'll come and they'll like lay on me and they'll roll on my tummy. They'll give the baby kisses and stuff. They're just really, really excited. But um, thank you guys so much for continuing to watch our vlogs, for supporting our channel. A new journey is about to start and I'm super, super excited about it. I'm glad everything's going great. Thank you for all of the prayers and, you know, the comments from everyone, you know, you know, just being there when I went through the miscarriage and stuff like that. It meant so much to me to hear from everybody and that really helped me get through it. But, um, you guys will be seeing us soon in the next vlog and I will see you guys later. Kisses from the missus.